Hi guys, this is Marvin here with MG Horse Transport. Um, I just wanted to do a little video tour of what the inside of our trailer looks like when we stop at night. Um, right now we're in Rollins, Wyoming, and we were just about to run into a snowstorm that's supposed to last all night and, I don't know, part of the day tomorrow, maybe all day tomorrow. So anyway, this is what things look like in the trailer. It's nice and dry and warm in here, but it's snowing outside and we're probably gonna be stuck here for part of the day tomorrow. Um, but we don't offload unless, you know, we would end up being here for a day or two, then we'll, we'll offload if there's a facility nearby in, in a case like this when we run into bad weather. But normally if it's only for an extra half a day or so, we won't offload. Um, especially if there's smaller horses, all three of the horses we have on board right now are small horses. So they've got all kinds of space in there. Um, but this is what it looks like outside right now. We're at Holiday Inn. That's where, where we always stay at night. Um, most Holiday Inns are, usually have safe places to park where nobody's going to bother the rigs. And um, we lock the outside of the trailer. Every one of the doors get locked um, so nobody can mess with anything. And uh, this is what it looks like in the back. This is my tack room here where we got all our supplies and everything we need. And uh, this is the first stall. We've got a gypsy van or stud right here. He's a three-year-old. Um, it's kind of hard to see everything here in the video, but uh, the stalls have just been cleaned, fresh bedding put down, plenty of hay, water for the night, salt blocks. Hey, buddy. This horse is nice. It's got silver mane and tail. Um, we usually, I usually put my water jugs in the stall as long as the horses don't mess with it, and he hasn't been messing with them at all. Um, that way, the water doesn't freeze at night because it stays warmer in here than it does up in the tap room with the horses back in here. Hey, boy. So this is what his stall looks like. I'll take a step back where you can see it a little bit better. Hey, buddy, this is a little yearling. Chips of Anna come off the same farm in Missouri and they're going to Oregon. But this is what this looks like with taking a step back. He's got a nice big stall, enough room to move around, lay down if he wants to. He's not in the mood to pose, he just wants to eat. And then this little rascal bit me earlier. He's a little character. But he's been eating and drinking good. What's up, buddy? He's been doing a lot of napping too. A lot of these young horses, the weanlings and yearlings, you know, lay down and sleep on, you know, while we're traveling. And we've got cameras up in the in each stall here where we keep an eye on the horses while we're traveling and all that. But got his hay, water, nice big stall. He's set for the night. Move, buddy. Move. And then back here. We have a Rocky Mountain mare. She's also going from Missouri to Oregon. So yeah, this is pretty much what things look like in the trailer when we stop for the night every night. And then also if we run into bad weather um, with this type of setup, we don't have to continue driving until we get to a facility that we can offload at. Um, a lot of times if we, like in this case, if we would have had to go further it would not have been good because the roads were getting pretty bad um so we were able to stop here and stop for the night and settle the horses in here and they'll be good till we can leave out again um hopefully we'll be able to leave out again by noon tomorrow um, but this is where the horses stay while we're in here